Boom. What's up, my name is Mr. V here. Welcome to another video. So in today's video, we are going to talk about ticket symbol MOD, Modin, um, Modin Manufacturing. This is a company that we profiled here on the channel, um, I think back in 2020. And I gave you guys some really good reasons why I thought this was an excellent long-term value stocks to invest in. And so um, a lot has happened now in 2024, and, and I'm bringing it back again to you guys' attention because I think there's still some value in this stock. So we're going to talk about that in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and your notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So Modin is one of those companies that I, I mean I would describe them as boring because they don't make a splash in the marketplace. It's just one of those things where people just want the product to be there, but you don't really observe it. So most people would not be talking about it, but I do my research and I bring these stocks to you guys. Uh, sometimes it doesn't get a ton of views because people look like Modin. It's not Tesla, it's not Nvidia, so it doesn't have the flashy name. But these are value stocks that if you invest in, in the long run, you're gonna get tremendous amount of return. And, and, and stocks like these don't have a ton of volatility. So this is stuff that you should definitely take a look at. So. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, uh, Modin again, let's jump right in. I'm going to kind of just walk you guys through. So um, this is a company that is actually uh, in the space of manufacturing and the sales of uh, heat transfer equipment. So uh, the, the, the heat transfer exchanges that they uh, provide for cooling systems. So they work in different uh, industries. Uh, if you can see here, these are the different areas that um, they actually work. So if I can just step here. Um, so age for commercial electric vehicle, data centers, off highways, power, refrigeration, commercial, automotive. As you can see, they cover a huge range of different industries. So um, back in 2020, when I did the video uh, about Modin, I was profiling Modin because Tesla had used them. And so, um, I, I mean, I'm a huge fan of Tesla. And so I'm invested in Tesla. So I'm looking like, hey, how can I better... Um, really benefit from my investment in Tesla, not just Tesla itself, because Tesla doesn't manufacture all the parts that they use to assemble the vehicles. So I went back and did a video of their top five uh, suppliers because I thought it was brilliant. So Modin came out as one of the suppliers for Tesla, and they had supply the heat exchanger that, that Tesla uses um, for cooling and heating their vehicles. So I'm like, okay, I said researching Modin, and that's how it really came to my radar. So I did that video, but my focus was on electric vehicles back then. One of the areas that I didn't really think about or focus on was data centers. So this is this is a huge area that you should at least uh, be talking about now because of AI. Uh, for those of you guys that don't quite understand, AI requires a ton of data centers um, for us to be able to use this cloud computing and be able to power all the stuff that we do. Um, so Modin provides the cooling system that most of these um, data centers would use. So that is another area. So on top of the EV revolution that's pushing it, I think um, AI has come in and in my personal opinion, overtaken um, EV uh, to start powering because that is an area that's really, really hot right now. So data centers is something that I didn't include in, in my last video in 2020. So I think this is another driver. So again, this is the video that I put out there. As you can see here, Back in 2020, when I was talking about this stock, look at the price here was $12.11 when I talked about the stock. So now let's jump in and take a look and see what the price currently looks like today uh, as I'm recording this video. So we're just going to go through the timeline here. So um, around December of 2020, I think that's when we did the video. So somewhere around here, the stock was trading at $12 and some change. And then I did the video. See, we got that squeeze up to about $17, um, $18 towards mid-2021. And then you guys know what happened. The market pulled back in 2022. Um, so in 2022, the stock came down all the way to $8. But ever since then, 
it has just continuously squeezed all the way to have a high of a hundred and six dollars and i don't think the stock is even there yet um financially they're doing great uh revenue is excellent uh profitability so i think these are all great indicators that uh the q1 when that comes out boy if they crush that q1 I, it wouldn't surprise me if this stock go test like 160 170 it's just going to be insane so this is again a prime candidate of a of a long-term growth stock that you can um, actually invest in because the, i mean like the potential here is just insane so that is uh, why i wanted to do this video just going to give you guys um, an idea as to where um, modin is at so for those of you guys that don't know the company or not aware i'll say do a little bit of research again um the thing that brought this company to my attention is because i love tesla and so i was looking at tesla like hey you assemble vehicles you don't manufacture every single part so if tesla is a good stock that i'm investing in and i believe in the long term uh uh state of the company the people that are, the companies that are supplying tesla would obviously be there long term so i went back and started doing the research on who are the suppliers modine came up and that's why i did that research that like, okay uh and i like the company and i saw what they were doing it's like this is great but now uh with electric vehicles data centers and now the, the next thing that's going to power them because of ai and i think the stock has a huge huge amount of room again last time when i did this stock i said it was going to 5x i think now where the stock is currently at at about a hundred dollars or so trading so i'll just go like let's 2x this so if it goes from 100 i think in the next 12 months or so this stock might get to 200 dollars um easily um if the conditions of the market stays the same i mean i'm not saying that the market uh, if there was a massive pullback this stock would be immune to it no if there's a massive pullback it would be they would see it but as as long as the market conditions stay the way they are right now we can see this easily hit that $200 mark. So again, uh, Modine, do some research. Let me know what you think. Um, for those of you guys that uh, watched the video back in 2020, did you buy some Modine or you were skeptical about uh, the company? Again, I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage. And I'll see you in the next one.